Thrush. Candida. You have a yeast infection. In my, down there? On the head of your penis. That's probably why it's swollen and would explain the itchiness and the redness. It's a fungal infection. Uh, I have fungus down there? Which means you can use an over-the-counter cream. Is it from sex? It's not an STI. All your tests came back negative, but it can be transferred during sex. Try and keep it dry down there. Fungus thrives in moist environments. Open. What? The yeast infection is also in your mouth. Down there was one thing, but up there, that was new. Does penis fungus look like giant mushrooms on your cock, or does the cock turn into a giant mushroom? More. What a girl. Don't make her puke before noon. Hey, Sunday morning brunch is the one hour a week I get to let go. I'll puke if I want to. Classy. And then I'll rally. You are winning me over. His mouth had this odor, like cinnamon and dirty socks. Hmm. And you. No wonder you're not getting laid. You talk about penis fungus all day. I don't talk about penis fungus all day. I'm talking about work. Maybe your work is the reason you're single. I'm single because I want to be single. But you use your work to protect you. It's like you're in a giant body condom. Well, if I was surrounded by penis fungus all day, I'd probably be single too. You are single too. Apocalypse guy. Ooh. Guy. So you're not a lesbian. I'm remaining open to all genders. The next date just happens to be with a guy. Nice. She's fluid. He wants to take me foraging. Like dumpster mm. diving? Oh. Like a hike where you look for food. Sounds like you can't afford dinner. I'm being open-minded, you know? Well, that's great. That's probably going to change your life. Oh, specifically your sex life. Win-win. <laughs> Chanterelles, porcinis, hedgehog mushrooms. They grow where it's moist. Fungus thrive in moist environments. You don't say. Oh! So you mentioned you're a nurse? Yeah, I work in a sexual health clinic in the West End. Oh. Do you like STI screenings, that kind of thing? STIs? Sexually transmitted infections, diseases, STI, STD. Oh, I know what they are. I just never heard anyone talk about them on a first date before. But like, I help people. Like the other day, there was this guy, and he thought his penis was gonna fall off. <sighs> Turns out it was just a yeast infection. Oh, okay, I'll keep your eyes peeled for uh, fallen trees, dead stumped, dying wood. I mean, a yeast infection isn't really an STI, it's fungal. And yeah, I guess it's a bit unusual to stare at STIs all day, but most of the time you can't even see them, not with the naked eye. You must find it hard not to bring your work home with you. I don't bring it home with me, it's not contagious. <gasps> STIs aren't contagious? Well, they are, but it, I mean, I don't have what they have. It's not like I have to walk around all day in a giant body condom. I'm perfectly capable of keeping my life and my work separate. I, unlike STIs, am a catch. Ooh. Careful. I'm good. Whoa, 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 don't move. You found the mother load. Matsutake. That's some girth. Go ahead, smell it. No thanks. This mushroom is the greatest barely explored ingredient in Western culture. Nothing in this world possesses the delicate fragrance of a matsutake. All right, fine. It, it stinks. I'm sorry. I'll smell it again. No. Let me smell it again. No. It could be an acquired thing. No. It... Do you? It, it, it was. I was gonna make you a risotto. You still. No. Yep. Cinnamon and dirty socks. <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm back. Paula again. Did you like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, enemies, colleagues, parents, dogs? I hope so. You can follow us at D-O-O-D the series. Oh, and watch the next episode.